This is my paper clay and I will divide it into three pieces for three pendants. I will take this one first, form it round. This is baking paper and now I will take this glass oil a little bit the edge of the glass to make as clear cut as possible so I don't have much sanding afterwards. You do as you, as you would with a cookie. I could also use some of these cookie cutters but it's up to you. You can do what you wish. Papa. Okay, I'll tap it a little bit. Just to correct the edge. Okay, and now I have here a little glass ball with nice pattern. So I will use this ball to make texture. So I'm going to be precise as much as possible. Don't forget this all is hand work, no machine. And carefully take it off and here we go. Now with the end of this brush I will make one hole for the cord. But now this one is ready for drying. I put it on the cardboard so the cardboard absorbs humidity. Now I'm going to make two other pendants which later I will decorate with the coupage so let's say this one can have form of maybe pear. I will make a hole here or with this. This is better, more sharp. And and make it through. Okay. And the last one can be, let's say, oval. You make it as big as you want. And I will take just a little bit water on my fingers. The surface becomes smooth and now it looks like a big cabochon and make the hole oh, huh. too much water but it's easy to correct okay now they go for drying but my eye just caught this and I couldn't resist not to make something like that. It will combine very well with decoupage. Okay, that's it. See you in the next step. Hi again. I will show you how you are going to prepare pendants for decoration and first step in it uh, is uh, sanding. If you were precise when you were making them then there is not much sanding. For example I take number 180 or 360 is finer uh, sanding paper and just go around and take off any residues or some parts that you don't like.
In this step, I will paint the pendants with white, white acrylic paint. This is very easy step to perform. You paint one side and when it dries, you go and paint the other side. I use this white brush because it is very practical but any any other brush will do okay I will paint the other side also and come back now when the base white color is dry I'm going to apply chosen color for each of these pendants for this one I chose terracotta color and I go around you will need a very little amount of the paint so I will change the brush now I will make this one this is very bright pink these two will be decorated with decoupage with napkin and uh, the note here is the base color has to be brighter than the motif if you work with napkin now I, again I will change the brush and this color is very very pale residue color and now you let them dry for about one hour and then turn them around and color the back side and after it's dry they are ready for decoration see you in the next step